The known universe continues to astound humanity's greatest minds. As a result, several space organizations have upped their exploration plans for the next decade. There are space agencies in countries such as the United States, China, Russia, and even commercial space companies. Elon Musk and SpaceX both competed in the competition, and as a result, some of them must collaborate. Elon Musk and China recently partnered, immediately after the Tesla and SpaceX CEO revealed one of China's stunning lunar findings. Why did China discover and conceal the moon's far side? Finally, extraterrestrial life has been uncovered. Joins us as we look at Elon Musk's recent announcement of China's incredible discovery on the far side of the moon. Make sure to like it and turn on the notification bell for more excellent videos. Also, stay until the conclusion to find out what the hidden revelation that China is attempting to hide from us is. The Chinese space rover was preparing to power down for its daily nap to protect itself from the midday sun during its mission to study the moon's far side, but before its complete shutdown, one of the scientists operating the space rover noticed something odd. In one of the images the moon lander took upon examination, they saw it was a strangely colored substance. They gel-like composition. Immediately the space rover team scrapped their plans to power down the moon robot, and they began to investigate the sea. The substance was observed with the lustra spot, with the rover visible and near-infrared spectrometer. However, results from that analysis have not been released nor of the images of the substance and that led to speculations. The most likely explanation that was given for the phenomenon is that the Lu illustrious spot is not a gel, but is some form of shiny melted glass that formed when a meteorite struck the moon. Mahesh Anand, a planetary scientist, at the Open University in the United Kingdom agreed with this speculation, but not fully. He said it would be hard to confirm. The substance is actually made up of very little information about the set phenomenon, but he gave the benefit of the doubt that the material could be a type of glass. The fact that has been observed is associated with a small impact crater. This finding could be extremely exciting as it would indicate that a very different material could just be hiding underneath the very top surface. U8. This would assume even greater significance if these materials turn out to have experienced interaction with water. A physicist at Syracuse University also agreed to the speculation saying the substance can be lunar dust that was turned into class by a meteorite impact. While many processes like waves, wind, and volcanoes on Earth can create and transform interesting geology, meteorites are pretty much the only thing that can reform the moon's surface. He explained further, giving an example to relate. He said there is a bit of precedent here for this on Earth. For example, at the site where the first nuclear bomb was tested in New Mexico, there is a glassy mineral called trinitite, which was formed from the explosion's heat. He related this to the supposed cell-like substance, saying the same thing is likely to have happened with meteorite impacts. Although it is not the first odd patch of color found on the moon, most parts of the moon's surface are covered by fine gray dust known as Luna. During the final manned mission to the moon in 1972, Apollo 17, mission geologist Harrison, Jack Schmidt, scratched the surface of Shorty Crater, which revealed orange soil. The crew brought a sample of the orange soil banked worth, and they found out that the soil was formed when molten droplets sprayed out of a volcanic eruption 3.64 billion years ago. This gave more strength to the meteorite speculation. However, China's Chana 4 did not only discover unresolved phenomena. The rover also debunked some mysteries such as the mystery hut on them. This was discovered in November 2021 by a rover named U-22, which was deployed by China's Chana. 4. The rover spotted something unusual in the distance, a small square object called the mystery hut because it looks like a hut from the distance in a bid. To find out more about the mysterious hut, scientists and the rover got a closer look, and the mystery hut turned out to be a moon rock. 
The rock's name is soon to be changed to Jade. The weird object appeared in a photo from U22 in November 2021. When the photo was taken a few hundred yards away, the mystery heart appeared to be a small building with a flat roof. Also, the dark spot in the middle gave the mystery heart the perfect definition of a shelter of some sort, like a small shack, unfortunately, or should we say. Luckily, there was no alien monolith within the visual range of you. When the space probe got closer to the hut, it turned out to be another moon rock that would become priceless on Earth but is just a landmark on the moon. The combination of shadows and Glenn's location contributed to the rocks becoming a mystery hut. The rover operators examined the moon rock more, and they noticed that it looked a bit like a rabbit, and that was how the mystery hut, moon rock, was named the Jade Rabbit. The discovery of this moon rock and the circumstances surrounding its finding show us how little we know about the surface of celestial objects. Apart from this shocking discovery made by China on the moon NASA, has also spotted strange formations on the surface. Whenever these mysterious formations are spotted, rovers are sent to check them out, but they end up finding it to be another rock located at a weird angle. One such situation is the supposed face on Mars, which was later confirmed to be a deceit from light when better imaging technology was used to assess the alleged face. Although these rocks can still have huge scientific importance regardless of their natural origins, it is a bit disappointing to think one has discovered something from afar only to move closer and be completely disappointed. The world of science and the universe would have been a more interesting place with more theories coming up. If a tiny hut had been spotted on the moon, still it was a great discovery from the first space rover that explored the moon's far. One consistent thing about the world of science is that there would always be speculations in theories one way or the other. However, Elon Musk does not seem to mind the speculations about his mission to Mars. He still pushes further to achieve his human colonization. The Red Planet, his space company SpaceX, is currently building a lunar lander that should allow NASA to send astronauts back to the moon as soon as 2020. Is Elon Musk is working towards his ambitions? Chinese scientists also have long held goals to establish a manned moon base, not only for China to own a moon base, but to send nuclear-powered rockets into space in decades to come to colonize and better explore the final frontier. And their prayers have been answered as China plans to construct its first moon base by 2028 before landing astronauts there in the years to follow the People's Republic of China is really stepping up its game in challenging NASA's dominance and space exploration plans for the moon base. Construction would likely be powered by nuclear energy and its basic configuration would, they a lander, hopper, orbiter, and rover. Also, the tools would all be constructed by Chang'e's 6, 7, and 8 missions. The chief designer of China's Luna Exploration Program at Wu Ran predicted the moon base's completion saying Chinese astronauts would be able to go to the moon within 10 years. And with regards to powering the moon base with nuclear energy, he said it is the best option that can address the lunar station's long-term, high-power energy. China has put itself in the spotlight for the world in recent years with its achievements from sending probes to the moon, building its own space station, and preparing to explore Mars. It's a great thing to see however their plans have put them on track to compete with NASA in the United States. On the other hand, NASA has a rover on the Red Planet and is seeking to fly astronauts to the moon again, this decade since the Apollo program ended in the 1970s. Both China and the US are spending billions of dollars to not only send humans to explore the moon but to also access resources that could foster life on Luna's surface or to transport spacecraft to Mars. China plans to construct a moon base and the moon's south pole an area scientists think is the most suitable to access water. The nation also hopes to eventually expand its base into international research. As a matter of fact, China has started laying out its pathway for robotic, crude, lunar, and deep space exploration with several missions in preparation for the permanent moon base. 
Three upcoming robotic missions will set in place landers, orbiters, relay satellites, and test key technologies needed to begin construction of China's International Lunar Research Station in 2030. While China is planning a short-term lunar landing mission before the end of this decade, ILRS will initially be a robotic base that will be permanently habitable after 2035. China is also currently working towards launching the Chana 6, 7, and 8 missions in the coming years to set the stage for the larger moon base initiative. 6. A follow-up to the successful 2020 Chana 5 lunar sample return has been programmed to attempt retrieving up to 2 kilograms of material from the South Pole 8 Kin Basin on the Luna far side in 2026. Due to engineering constraints, the landing is expected to hold a similar latitude to the 2019 Chana 4 landing in the Von Karman. A new lunar relay satellite will also be launched to ensure smooth communications with missions targeting the vicinity of the moon South Pole Chana 7 will launch around 2026 and comprise an orbiter lander rover and mini flying detector to study the lunar topography material composition and environment. With these tools, the latter spacecraft would be able to find the presence of water and ice. The mission aims to investigate areas that are permanently shadowed by the Luna South. Chana 8 is planned to launch by 2028, and it would be an in-situ resource utilization and 3D printing technology test mission. China is also preparing for a crewed Luna landing before 2030. Emissions would utilize two launches. The new generation crew launch vehicle to send three astronauts to the moon would watch two of them sit down on the moon's surface for around six hours. Both lunar landers and spacecraft are still in development. The China International Lunar Research Station will experience five launches across the early 2030s to put in place orbit and surface infrastructure for energy communications and resource utilization and other advanced technologies. These missions would require the lifting capacity of a Long March 9 Super Heavy Lifting Rocket. A space vehicle that officials recently announced has changed its design to make it Reyes. Does this mean Elon Musk is a part of China's moon projects? We can't say for sure, but we know there are more discoveries to come from the Chinese space agency. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you love this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We produce amazing videos with interesting topics in the future that are sure to interest you. You can subscribe now, and hit the notification bell. Mystery Code